The kidney consists of two major parts. The outer part is called the cortex. The inner part is called the medulla. The medulla is made of pyramids, which are distinct triangular wedges. The kidneys are highly vascular. Each minute, approximately 1,200 milliliters of blood, or one-fifth of all the blood pumped by the heart in that minute, passes through the kidneys. The renal artery, which branches off of the aorta, brings blood into the kidney. As the renal artery nears the kidney, it divides into segmental arteries, which divide further to become the lobar arteries. The lobar arteries divide into the interlobar arteries. The interlobar arteries branch into afferent arterioles. These carry blood directly into the nephrons, which are the functional units of the kidney. The nephron consists of two parts, the renal corpuscle and the renal tubule. The renal corpuscle is the first part of the nephron and makes up most of the kidney's cortex. The renal corpuscle consists of a Bowman capsule and the glomerulus. The glomerulus is made up of loops of capillaries and is completely surrounded by the Bowman capsule. The afferent arteriole is larger in diameter than the efferent arteriole, which exits the glomerulus. This difference in size means that the pressure of blood in the glomerulus is high enough to filter substances out of the blood. Water, glucose, ions, and wastes are filtered into the hollow Bowman capsule, forming a fluid called filtrate. Proteins and blood cells are too large to be filtered through the wall of the glomerular capillaries, so they remain in the blood. The filtrate travels through the proximal convoluted tubule, or PCT, Henle loop, and distal convoluted tubule, or DCT. Most of the pyramid consists of nephron Henle loops and collecting ducts. The renal tubules are surrounded by peritubular capillaries with basa recta that extend into the pyramid. As filtrate continues through the renal tubule, most of the water, certain ions, and all of the glucose are reabsorbed back into the blood in the peritubular capillaries. This process, called tubular reabsorption, occurs mostly in the PCT. More wastes and certain ions can move from the blood in the peritubular capillaries and vasa recta into the filtrate in the PCT, Henle loop, DCT, and the collecting duct in a process called tubular secretion. The length of the Henle loop plays a role in how dilute or how concentrated urine is. The DCTs of many nephrons connect to a collecting duct. By the time filtrate reaches the end of the collecting duct, it is fully processed and has become urine. Urine travels from the collecting ducts into the papilla of a renal pyramid. The peritubular capillaries merge into veins that ultimately drain into the renal vein. The renal vein exits the kidney to drain into the inferior vena cava. The renal pelvis of the kidney narrows as it exits the hilum, which is the indentation of the kidney, to become the ureter. Urine travels down the ureters, which are about 10 to 12 inches long, and into the urinary bladder.